<laughs> it was so exciting. Not even That's there. the Pittsburgh Symphony that we know. That's the Pittsburgh Symphony. It was fantastic. Really. Thank you, Jim, for being here. Thank you, QED, for yeah, letting Jim yeah. come here. Yeah. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for keeping this great orchestra in our great city. We're so proud. Have a safe trip back. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you. So what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, no, 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 no. Well, well, let's see. Going back to the original question, every time we play this piece, or you know, any, any time this orchestra goes on the road, it just, it just goes, it just goes crazy. We have a great time, and and, and we, we, I call it swinging to the fence. It's kind of like baseball. This orchestra in Pittsburgh too, but we just have this special vibe. What happens when we're on tour, and the reason I've stood up in this performance. Uh, it's actually written for that the horn is to stand actually with a conductor, but uh, a, a few times I've stood in the back. So Manfred asked me about uh, four or five days ago if I should stand or if I should sit, but he said it's up to me. And I said, well, I just started my 30th year in the Pittsburgh Symphony on Friday. And then he said, okay, you should stand. <laughs> we are in New York City. At Lincoln Center, yes? Yes. yes. Introduce yourselves, please. I am Marta Krichkovsky, and I am a member of the First Violin Section. <laughs> I'm Deanna Badizadian. I am a one-year member of the Viola Section. Where are you headed right now? We are headed for our dress rehearsal. Um, we're so excited to be here. We love New York, and it's such a beautiful weather, and we're so excited for the concert. I heard the concert Friday night, it sounded spectacular. What did you think of uh, Till Fellner's Beethoven and the Mahler to Symphony Number no. 5? The concert was really great. Till Fellner sounded amazing, and the Mahler, the orchestra really felt on fire. The strings make yes. it, don't they? Yes. It's absolutely great. It's a lot of music, but it's so exciting, and this orchestra plays, you know, Mahler is so, so well, and it, it's, it's going to be great. Now, have you seen any other musicians while you were in town? The National Symphony's here this I afternoon. I have, actually. Yesterday, I already ran into quite a few friends of mine. And then, walking, we were staying close to Carnegie Hall. And, of course, I started to see a lot of people from the Met. So, they were rehearsing there in the afternoon. And, of course, National Symphony is in the same hotel as we are. So, And just on our walk over here, we ran into several of our PSO colleagues. Yes. So, everyone's out and about and enjoying the beautiful day. Rachel Stedman, welcome to New York City. Thank you very much, Jim. Nice to see you. What's happening? Exactly where are we and what are we doing? Well, we're in front of Lincoln Center. I'm out here hunting for food because I didn't have breakfast and I don't know if I can wait till after the concert. So then I ran into you. So we're, we're here, we're ready to go. Have you ever played New York before? Yes, Carnegie Hall. But not Lincoln Center. Not here. This is a bucket list moment for me, so I'm super jazzed to be here. We see it on live from Lincoln Center all the time. They've yeah. rebuilt it a couple of times to try to get the acoustics right. It'll be perfect for Mahler and Beethoven this I, afternoon. I think it will, but I've, I've never played here before, so I, I'm excited to see the hall. They haven't opened it yet also, so when I go back, I'll check it out, get some pictures. How did it sound to you at Pittsburgh on Friday night? Oh, really good. Excellent. It, Mahler is my favorite thing to do with Manfred Honig. It's, Mahler 5 is the best. I love it. Why is he so great with Mahler? He's he, wonderful. He just really feels it. And it's just so inspirational to be sitting back there and just sort of watch him experience it. And then that makes you experience it. And it's just very contagious. So it's super emotional. And uh, I look forward to it every time. We're fortunate that we get to see you here. Often you're in the pit in Pittsburgh, yes. the Yes, yes. Yep, we do lots of operas and ballets, but this time we're front and center, and uh, I love it. I love all the different places to perform and the ways to do it. Amazing tuba of the Pittsburgh Symphony Arts at Craig Knox. Congratulations. Thanks, Jim. What did you think of the concert? I loved every second of it. It was great. I mean, I love the piece. It's always really exciting to be in New York City. It's great to play on tour for new audiences and uh, and have you know other other audiences have a chance to hear what we do in, in Pittsburgh every week. So it's really exciting. Well, and the Mahler is such a showcase for the brass. It has to be one of the reasons that uh, Montford shows it's a showcase for everybody. No, it? for the whole orchestra, for sure. I mean, it's just a it's a masterpiece of orchestral writing. So um, it's a natural choice for us to play. You know, it's a natural choice to show off the orchestra. It's a natural choice for us to take on tour. Yeah. Uh, I I enjoy playing in this hall. I've always felt very comfortable here. 
actually. I think it's maybe even, I think maybe it's a better hall on stage than it is in, you know, in the house, perhaps. You know, I think it's, it's a nice place to play. Well, Hanuk, uh, we, we discussed it, and he asked if I would want him to conduct me or not. Um, he said it would cost me a little bit more if I wanted him to conduct, but he liked the idea of um, it starting from nothing, and so he kind of had his hand right here just to give me a little cue to say, okay, let's start now. Um, but other than, other than that, I kind of just my wife took it on my own, and, and then as it got louder, he kind of followed me until the orchestra comes in. So. Have you played a David, like, uh, David Geffen for I've never played a David Geffen, and I've never played Mahler Five. so these were both uh, firsts for me. Isn't it amazing for the brass overall? I mean, really, with your colleagues, Bill Cavallaro, I'm hearing Greg Knox with those low notes near the end. It's amazing. Yeah, this is a real privilege to be a part of this and to be able to just float on top of the incredible brass section that we have here. What did you think of the reaction of the New York crowd? This is a very sophisticated uh, audience for music here. They went bonkers. <laughs> They loved it, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, they were going crazy. Yeah, and you could you could feel that before we even finished. You just knew that was the response we were gonna get, and sure enough, yeah. Oh, it was so exciting, and it, it was kind of uh, very humid on stage, and uh, really warm, but I like this feeling. My viola is from the northern Italy part of Italy, and it likes the humidity. So it was kind of nice and sticky, and I, I love the energy. Um, you know, in the group today. It's awesome. It was wonderful. The Pittsburgh Symphony is still the greatest. And I, I've heard them many times when I was living and teaching there 22 years ago, right? But they, they haven't lost a beat and they still sound like the Pittsburgh Symphony, even though everybody in the orchestra is different from when I was there, except for Rich and Van Houten and a few others. Uh, but it's still a great orchestra. Fabulous first trumpet, fabulous concertmaster, everybody. And, and a wonderful conductor. I mean, you're so lucky. Oh, I thought it was just amazing. And I ran into people after the show. I turned around to a group of people and I said, well, is everybody exhausted? And they said, with big eyes, we've, we've never heard anything like it. We've never heard anything like it. And these people were musicians. So it was really incredible. Well, professional New York musicians, and they like <laughs> So I... I think Pittsburgh. Uh, I think Pittsburgh uh, brought it brought it out this time and uh, just filled up the house. It was great. And I was telling some of the musicians they were between movements of the Mahler. You could hear the rumble of the audience talking, commenting to themselves. So I think it made a big impression. Rogers, here we are in New York City, yeah. off the Lincoln Center. Yes, here we are in New York City in front of Carnegie Hall, where we're not playing today, but we've played many times in the past. We're heading off to Lincoln Center, playing in the David Geffen Hall, and we're going to have a wonderful time. Beethoven's Fifth Piano Concerto, Mahler's Fifth Symphony, the Titanic, not the Titan, but the Titanic's Fifth Symphony. It's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to it very much, and it's wonderful to be back here in New York City on such a beautiful day. You can see the subway, Carnegie Hall, just all kinds of things. The Brooklyn Diner around the corner. What more could you ask for? I'm here with my lovely wife who opted not to be on camera just today, but she's looking beautiful in one of her hand-knit sweaters, and we're going to just have a wonderful time here today. It's You're wonderful to a, be here with you. Meeting a contrabassoon friend. I'm meeting my friend Arlen Fass, contrabassoonist of the New York Philharmonic. We're going to sit down and jam. So if you feel a little bit of, you know, tremor, that's us just playing a couple of low B flats together. He's going to show off his new contrabassoon to me, and we're going to just have a, have a great time of it. The New York Times said it was one of the top six music events in the city this weekend, the visit of the Pittsburgh. The Met Orchestra is here, the National Symphony too. That's true. I definitely think we're in the top six, if not the top three, with those orchestras that you just mentioned. We're very lucky to be sharing this community, this area with them. It's going to be a terrific, terrific event. And the... Uh they chose your picture for the New York Times. Uh, of course, uh, I saw that. I heard about that. That's great. Yeah, we're very lucky. I think maybe we're the more photogenic orchestra. Who knows? But certainly more featureable in that regard. So I'm very happy for that. I heard you Friday night. It was fabulous with the Till Fellner, Beethoven, Emperor Concerto, and the Mahler Symphony Number no. Five. I'm sure it's going to be spectacular at Lincoln Center. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, the Friday concert was really just amazing. So much energy. So much wonderful feedback from the audience and it felt terrific. So I'm hoping we're gonna have another hit it out of the park here in New York City. All the best to you. Thanks so much. 
Well, I've seen this piece uh, and I've heard this piece played dozens of times. I mean, this must be one of like four I've heard that was done this beautifully. I, I really wish they'd recorded this today. They, they, they did it perfectly. They did it absolutely. Every piece of it, every section of it was done perfectly. And you got a great orchestra. Very, in Pittsburgh, you're very lucky. And a great conductor and a great ensemble. Here at Lincoln Center, this is the music capital of the world. Why did you invite the Pittsburgh Symphony? Because they're one of the great orchestras of the world, and we're thrilled to have them. We've been a big follower and fan of Manfred Honig for quite a while. Uh, we had him here with the Swedish Radio Orchestra, I believe, over a decade ago. And it's wonderful to have him back with this wonderful orchestra. Now, what special qualities do you hear from the orchestra today? You heard the well, first half. Well, so, yes, I was so struck by their, their real masters of the classical style. That was such a wonderful classical performance of that concerto, which frequently is done in overtly romantic fashion. And it was so wonderful to hear the classical proportions come back. I was blown away. It was awesome. I was here, here at the concert hall on Friday, and to come back on Sunday here in New York City was just a dream come true. Your unbelievable concert for Beethoven was spectacular. Till, bravo, congratulations. Thank you very much. What did you think of the afternoon at the Pittsburgh Symphony? Exciting, and I think we are all very happy. It was a good success for the orchestra, for Manfred, for myself, and we are very pleased. Great honor to be here. Well, we wanted to share the orchestra with the world and let them see the quality that we have in Pittsburgh. I, I spoke very briefly after the concert with the uh, film and television star Alec Baldwin. He said, you have something very special here in Pittsburgh. And he's the host of the New York Philharmonic broadcast. He, he's a strong music enthusiast. That seems to be the general reaction that uh, there's something special going on. It is very special. And when, when you see today's performance, you feel it, you know it, and then you appreciate it. I thought that the concert was excellent. It's always so exciting to see Manfred uh, at the rostrum there, and, and the orchestra just sounded wonderful. And you know, we are all so proud when we see our ambassadors of the city uh, representing Pittsburgh uh, elsewhere. It's so exciting when they do this in Europe and here domestically to be able to tour. It's artistically important, it's important to the region, and, uh, and it was also just fun. It was really a great experience. Thank you. I'm very proud of the orchestra. This is wonderful, how wonderful uh, and with energetic, with power and brilliance they played uh, this concert. And I'm very happy about that. I'm so thrilled. I'm so proud of the Pittsburgh Symphony. They were unbelievable. And Manfred Honig, he's just incredible. I mean, he makes a piece that everybody knows feels so new and fresh. And he did that for New York audiences today. I'm so proud of him. Why do you do it? Why is it important to do? <laughs> Why do we do this, Manfred? Right, right. Why? He just was it a question? That was a question. No, yeah. Why do we do this, Manfred? Because the Pittsburgh Symphony is the best orchestra. It's the best orchestra in the world, and we have to show the world. We're so proud of them.